the new episodes. So, John, how did you decide to bring the show back? Well, Fox uh, was my home for 25 years. I hosted America's Most Wanted, and I loved working for Fox. And we've become, you know, a, a lawless society. And FBI and marshals contact me, say, "Come on, you got to saddle up. You got to get back in the game." And uh, and uh, Rob Wade from Fox said, "I'd love you guys to come." So we're we're here tonight. We're going to be the premiere. We're excited to have you. And Callahan, I'm curious about how technology has changed over these last. Decades and what new perspective that brings to this show. Well, you're absolutely right. You know, new technology has allowed us to analyze evidence in new ways. You know, we have touch DNA, we have familial DNA, geneal familial gene genealogy, and social media as well, too. You know, we always harness the power of the public, but now we have the ability to harness these internet detectives, these, these internet sleuths, and really put them to work. They're sharing mm -hmm. information in real time, and I know that harnessing them can really lead to some incredible captures. Yeah. Judge? You know, first of all, John, um, and, and to both of you, I mean, uh, kudos for coming back. Uh, but more importantly, John, you have done so much to help law enforcement in, you know, for decades. And, and myself with the Robert Durst case, I remember when we were looking for Robert Durst, you had a segment on that case. Uh, so I want to thank you on behalf of law enforcement around the country for the work that you've done. How do you see this show going forward, differing, if at all, from what you've done over the past years? Well, first, let me say you were a kick-ass judge and a kick-ass <laughs> prosecutor, and I appreciate that. Thank you. But, uh, um, well, a lot has changed. As Callahan said, technology is a big thing. But um, we, we're, in, we're in this lawless society. I mean, Dana was talking about the border, and, uh, uh, you know, we never had to deal with that in the old days. I caught 1,200 of the world's worst uncatchable guys recovered or got 17 guys off the FBI's 10 most wanted. The, the, no FBI agent's ever done that. But mm -hmm. most of all, we recovered 61 stranger abducted missing children alive. Not, you know, most stranger abducted kids are dead like my son Adam was dead within four hours. Yeah. But Dana was right about the border. It's a new challenge for us. Uh, we had Mayorkas on a hearing about a month and a half ago, and we kept asking him, how many unaccompanied minors have you pushed across the border? He hemmed and hawed, and one of the congressmen said, 85,000. And we said, did you DNA swab them? In case, yep. you know, you've got the cartels bringing the kids to the border, you've got MS-13 grabbing them, they're, t they're charging the parents, and they're saying the kids are going to work in Ritz-Carlton as a maid or a busboy. No, they hand them right over to MS-13 or MS-18 and their sex traffic. So we asked them, did you take a DNA swab in, in case one of these kids, we're talking 6 to 17, winds up dead? Did you take a picture of them? Did you ask them what country are they from? No, 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 my Arcus went. We were too busy. Mm -hmm. 85,000 kids were pushed across the border. Nobody knows where they went. So, you know, it, and, and we're in this violent, violent society, in this lawless society. I've never seen anything like it, and I've been doing this for years. We're number one in the world in mass murders, 29 school shootings last year. New Orleans is per capita the most dangerous murder capital of the world. What happened to America? I mean, it's, it's like we, we've fallen apart and it's so dangerous. So we're facing a lot of challenges. And we're doing a, Elizabeth Smart is on the show tonight, and we're doing the case of a 17 year old girl, you know, fentanyl, 107,000 deaths, 300,000 people overdose, but 107,000 deaths. And this girl, 17 years old, went online on Snapchat. They have drug dealers that have menus. What kind of drug do you want yeah. today? She was studying for a test. She took an Adderall. She was dead in two hours. I'm looking for that bastard that gave her those drugs. But now with social media, it's the, it's the, it's the playground for pedophiles, sex traffickers, and they're so much more sophisticated. Yeah. So oh, we've got a real down. challenge in our hands. God bless. Great thank job. You. God bless. John and Callahan, thank you guys so much. And hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.